What's up everyone, this is Ixarian, and I'm here with a video tutorial on the Abra RNG manipulation for the latest Pokemon Emerald glitchless route. So this route saves about 40 seconds over the Abraless route that's been popular for the past couple of years, uh, assuming you hit the Manip first try, which is, isn't too difficult. Uh, you can also extend this Abra Manip into catching a Talo, but that is quite difficult and it's not fully routed, so I won't be showing that. So the Manip is you save on this tile, which is just right after this cutscene, you're already facing up. Uh, then you reset, and you time the input to load your, load your save file, and then uh, do a specific movement path to get your Abra. So I'll show that in a second. Um, the timed input is a 4 frame window, or if you're 2 frames early that also works, so it's 5 out of 6 frames. Uh, if you're 1 frame early, you'll get a Puchiena several tiles before you normally get Abra, and if you're one frame late, then you'll get a very early encounter in the first patch of grass. Uh, you also want to time the catch, and that involves two inputs, and that's entering the bag from the battle menu, and then throwing the ball. It's going to be a great ball here. Uh, and the frame windows for that are much larger. It's actually 20 frames for Abra to get in the great ball. It's a little bit tricky because there are two inputs, and if you're late on the first input entering the bag, then you need to be early on the second input. Um, I'll explain a little more on that later, but it's pretty easy to get the Abra in the wall once you've encountered it. So in the top left corner of the layout here, I've got my timer program. It's called Flow Timer. I've uh, linked that in the video description. So I've got four manipulations for this route. Uh, there's the Mudkip Manip, Abra, the Bird or Flyer Manip, and then Rayquaza Manip, so we'll just be focusing on Abra here. So the 10.142 seconds, which is expressed as um, just 10142 without any decimals here in the offset column, that's the time between when you reset and when you need to hit that timed input to load your save file. So over here, the interval in the beeps, that means that flow timer is going to count down five times, uh, intervals of 0.5 seconds. So it'll go 2, 1.5, 1, 0 0.5, and then 0. So on the fifth beep is when you want to hit A to load your save file. Uh, and then I've got two more numbers in my offset here, and those are for the bag input and the ball input. So 29.04 seconds and 31.59. Oh, seconds. So you'll see these in play here as I do the manipulation. Uh, I'll put those offsets in the video description as well. Uh, so I am going to save here, and then I'm going to have my fingers on A, B, and select, and then I'm ready to synchronize pressing start with starting my timer. Uh, so I just use the enter key to start my timer. Just press those at the same time. Make sure you release start reasonably quickly, otherwise the game just doesn't um, go through to the to the intro and time that input and here's the movement and here's the Abra so now you'll see two more here two more flow timer countdowns That was actually a little late on the ball throw, but it'll still work because it's such a huge window. It's more important to be uh, accurate with entering the bag because the RNG advances at double speed. And then if I were doing tail omenep, it would uh, be important to time the input for saying no to naming Abra and then do some crazy movement here before uh, try to pass these guys and you know, time inputs for throwing the Ball on Talo, that part's quite complex. Don't worry about that. You can catch a bird later, much easier than you can catch Abra. Uh, so, yeah, it's um, it's a pretty simple manip. The four frame window, you're gonna need some practice, not always going to hit that at first, but certainly is much easier to hit than the one frame mudkip window at the start of the run. Um, you can also use a Pokeball for the Abra manip. It's like one, the, the window's like 19 frames instead of 20 if you wanna save your great ball for something, but. Uh, for the route as it currently is, you can just use the Great Ball, because you get another Great Ball after uh, this section that you can use for your flyer. Uh, this manip does not seem to require a specific step counter, or at least the two uh, standard movements that you do um, 
through Roxanne into the Abram and Eb. It seems to work on both of them. So one of them is you fight the second trainer in Roxanne's gym first, and that's eight extra steps. And the other one is you just fight the, the first guy uh, first, and then the, the second guy second, and save those steps. I, I tested this Manip on both variants. Um, I'm not positive that the Manip works if you take a bunch of extra steps and just movement mistakes, but it should because the step counter doesn't go uh, above 128 during this Manip. It ends up at about 100, like 103 if you fight the second guy first. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, and again, in video description we'll have links to flow timer and the offsets. Do note with the offsets that it might take some tinkering. Um, every person's timing is different and I think flow timer can lag a little bit on slower computers at the start and then it's accurate for the, the duration of the minute. If you have any questions about the minute, go ahead and post a comment and I'll respond. Thanks for watching!